Hello guys, it's Scott Sky. Today we are viewing another Hornby Loco. <laughs> This loco is the first one I've ever had of it. I just bought it the other week, it came today, also it's been my 15th loco and it's been my second ever diesel and it is this, the Hornby Rustin 48 DS Queen and Livery. And this box is just fantastic, bit of damage on it, um, that's probably because I ripped it open a bit when I was opening it. And it's called the Rustin 48 because it has precisely 48 horsepower and it's got all this lovely info you can pause if you want to read it and it's got some diagrams of the Rustin. So we're going to open up and so have got a look here at the box and we are going to pop it out, it just pulls out like this I think, you just got to gently push it out and oh my word it is dinky, look that's my finger. That is dinky. So we've got to figure out how to get into this. So I think what we do is we um, put a finger in there, I think. And just kind of lift this out, I think, maybe. Maybe lift it out like that. There we go. And then. I've seen this kind of packaging before, but I've never had. There we go. This cut is fresh. Oh, oh it fell out. Look. Got a good pack there. Oh my word. It is, oh my god, it's actually so heavy. Let's have a look at the Here's details. The Boston 40 up close and personal, and it is incredibly detailed for only £77, £72 even. It's incredibly detailed. You can see just the detail on that Queen Anne, Queen Anne sign everywhere around it. And the cab, it's not too detailed, but it's not too bad. It's got the leaves and everything. It comes with this trailer, which you can attach and detach. So, let's get on to the railway and see Hello how guys, it is. So it's on the truck for the first time. I'm ready to turn the power and see how it runs for the first time. So I turn up the power. Oh wow, that's not too bad for a the box. Oh, those wheels aren't moving, there they are. That's not too bad, let's turn up a bit, bit more. Wow. That's not too bad. Oh. Wow. Let's send it around the track and see how she goes. 50% power. So here it comes, just going around the corner. I'm so impressed on how this looks. Look at it. Crap. Spring buffers? No, no spring buffers. Look at that. Beautiful. I, I can take the carriage off, I might do that in the future. But for now, I'm just happy with it running with the carriage on. Look at that, it's just running so incredibly well. Oh my god, I, I love it. And it's all die cast as well. Bumby, you've obviously been paying attention to YouTube because you've taken the criticism on board and you've finally gone back to die. Well, that one's done, man. You finally made a die cast loco in the range cheaply and it runs beautifully. I mean, look how well it runs. I don't get how it can run that well, it's been that small. How, look, how come that one runs so, so well and the rocket, and how come that didn't? I love it. Oh, also guys, the steel, the steel cap's broken. Um, I've broken the motor. Why is broken? I think it's the cap. But the day one dies, I get a new one. Thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you liked it. Here's a little running montage of my locos running with my lovely Rustin 48DS. Also, thank you to Laurie's Mechanical Marvels for getting me into the Rustin.
Now, I just want to mention that I've only ever seen one Rustin 48 in my life before, okay? And basically, at um, I had a steam railway museum, there are numerous like, railway com houses, railway companies that operate on that site. So there's the Hedersteen Railway Museum in the old station, and then next to the old station there's this old, there's this old um, building. And in that old building there's um, the Darnton Railway Preservation Group, I think it's called. Right. Um, and basically, I think they've, they've got a Ruston 48. It's, it's all rusted up, but here's a photo of it. And there's also the P2 Steam Group building the new Prince of Wales, and the... Um, what do you call it? The North East um, Railway Preservation Group as well. So there you go, guys. Rustin 48. I'll leave you with a montage. Thanks, guys. And remember, steam on and stay safe and don't get COVID.